Hey, Joey Hager here. Thank you very much for your interest in our products. Today, I'd like to demonstrate to you our 35 pound pail milking system. A little different from our belly pail system. Advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that it holds 4.4 gallons, and so you don't have to dump the bucket quite as often. The disadvantage is that you've got milk lines to sanitize and and clean and you've got a larger pail. It really just depends on what your needs are and how you feel like you want to run your dairy. So we're going to get started here. The first thing we want to do... We're going to use a sanitizing powder to sanitize our shells and inflations and milk lines. This is the on-off valve. These little levers, there's a disc in the bottom here. The vacuum is closed off right now. Now when you move that lever forward, it pushes that disc out of the way, allows the vacuum to go through the inflation. And to shut it off, you just lift that up and you can just bump those and put that disc back in place. And turn our machine on, we're gonna open the stall cock and present the vacuum in the pail. And see now we're sucking the sanitizing solution up through there, sanitizing all of our equipment take the lid off and hang it over here on our pail hanger. Swish that sanitizing solution around in the pail and get it on the surfaces as best as possible. Dump it out. Reassemble our pail. Find ourselves a goat. <laughs> yes, darling, you'll do just fine. Come on. We're going to wipe the udders down. I like using a product called Wipe Out, an antibacterial wipe. And strip a little milk out into the strip cup. It's got a screen in the bottom of it to check for clumping, which is a sign of mastitis. We've got no clumping, so we're ready to milk. Turn the machine on, let the vacuum build up. Then introduce the vacuum back into the pail. You're going to attach, of course, one inflation at a time. There's that little handle. You flip that forward. It sucks that teat right into the inflation. And over here again, the vacuum will hold the inflations onto the teat. Between 10 and 13 inches of vacuum is a real good vacuum there. You may notice you hear a little bit of air flow. There's a small hole in the back here that allows a positive vacuum to flow through the shell inflation combination. Otherwise, you'd have a negative vacuum lock. See this milk flowing through the lines here. So we know when the milk stops, we know when to, we know when to take the inflation off. Massage the udder after you've taken it off and you can strip out with the inflation. We want to get as much milk as possible being a small dairy. Strain your milk and Chill it as quickly as possible to keep bacteria counts low. Now we're going to suck the hot water up through here to get any residual milk that's left in the shell inflation. Now we're going to use bleach to clean. It's a cleaning solution, an etching soap to clean all of the shells and inflations and milk lines. Swish it around and pre-wash for the pail. and you've just milked your goat. We hope this video was informative and we look forward to serving you. Thank you for your time.